What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Trinity Wolf, and well, welcome back to another amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Well, today's discussion, we are going to be talking about pretty much all the hero cards that either we still need for our deck, stuff that could improve our deck still, and just things that we just flat out honestly need for our deck still. So anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, please destroy that subscribe button. We are now on our goal for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for me and uh, leave a comment down below on what you think or what we still could possibly need for heroes uh, in your opinion. So, first things first. I think the very first thing we need to talk about is basically still our main deck or even more extra deck monsters that we're missing are masked heroes. We are still missing our main deck mask heroes, the ones from the extra deck, and even some of the spell and trap cards that uh, they say we could have. So, honest, obviously we're still missing like the higher level fire one, and I believe I have some of them here as well, but um, I these are some of the pictures I could only find. But... Um, yeah, like, hopefully we can get one that has, like, a negate or something. I mean, we just honestly need that. But main deck mass heroes would be great. Also, just because we'd be able to finally summon uh, Contrast Hero Chaos a lot easier than... You know, I know uh, if you guys subscribe to him already, uh, Rogue Hero, shoutouts to him. I know he found a more consistent way of getting contrast hero chaos out it does require like a long combo with you know having mass charge and you kind of just have to get rid of your mass heroes on board but being able to have a negate on a face of card is pretty cool um but other than that we still really need them uh hopefully they have ways to just special themselves and other things like that but i would really like them to just be able to control the game just a little bit because the ones that we currently have are really good at just you know destroying the board like we have acid for destroying the spells and traps uh, blast halves a monster even bounces a spell or trap back Anki can attack directly and still get you a match change card dark law is just a floodgate in itself and then uh, I mean we don't really use Diane or uh, Koga that much so maybe the level 6 light one could be more useful uh, we do have the other wind one so we do have the wind I forgot what it was called like divine wind or something so we have both of our um, light one no we have both of our winds and both of our dark so we still and we do have both of our waters as well even though vapor is not that great uh, so we're basically still missing a fire an earth and yeah but hopefully we can get some spells and traps uh it's i mean because still shadow mist is the only way we can really get mass change like she's the only card that we can actually grab mass change with other than anki or a mass charge getting it from the graveyard so hopefully cards like that we could get more negates <laughs> we just need stuff maybe some mass heroes that can banish like non-target banish opponent's cards, like that would be amazing. Um, I'll probably come back to them in a minute, but other cards I think we need. Uh, next up, we'll be talking about like a field spell. Uh, we really need a new field spell, guys. I mean, Skyscraper, let's be honest. I mean, it'll have to be a Skyscraper named card. It'd have to be like, like Skyscraper 3. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but Skyscraper 3. I feel like what it should do is um, kind of like how, you know, Branded has their theater spell. Uh, you know, they can fuse with it. Uh, like, I like to make up a lot of cards myself. So, I was thinking, like, so something like uh, Skyscraper 3. Um, it would have to be a Skyscraper card, obviously. But, um, you know, something like adding... 
either like you can add a hero with it or just being able to fuse something like because you know since skyscraper always had like the battle phase type of effect you could always do something like uh, if your opponent controls more attack or higher attack than you do you can fusion summon a hero monster using your field hand or grave as material by banishing them and that way you could have maybe like a continuous spell that said like oh kind of like that other branded one where like if something's banished draw a card like shuffle it back and draw a card so maybe one that was like that was like if a hero was used to if a hero was fusion summoned by materials that were banished you know place one of those materials back in the deck and d uh, shuffle and draw a card I don't know just something like that we we just desperately need a field spell maybe nothing like as broken as like meltdown you know where your opponent can't respond to your fusion summons even though that would be really really good for heroes like think about it can't uh, they can still respond to mass change because it's a special summon it's not a fusion summon but think about it like they can't respond to poly miracle fusion miracle contact well I think that's a special summon too I'm not sure uh, but I think not being able to respond to those cards would be a little too broken, but maybe just something that could just let us fuse more, because honestly, in my opinion, I don't know if you guys know this, but I honestly just don't like the Vision Hero package anymore. I really don't. Like, I don't want to have to rely on the Vision Hero package to get my fusion spells, but it's still the best key part of our deck, so we're still going to have to rely on it. But um, definitely an upgraded field spell, maybe something that can protect us, I don't know. But speaking of protection, maybe one of our masked heroes, now think about it, if one of our masked heroes was a card like this, just like Fright for Scythe, if we could have a masked hero that was like that, where you can quick effect, pitch it with another hero, and like fusion summon during your opponent's turn, like that would be wild. And then also you could banish it from the graveyard to protect one of your fusion monsters as well. If we had a masked hero main deck monster that was like that, where it like it didn't have a really good on field effect where it's just like, you know, just another hand trap, because uh, the Fry for Scythe is amazing. Fuse, protection, the worst. Like that card is absolutely amazing. Maybe we can get a masked hero that does that, or maybe just a hero in general that does that. Um, also for protection, uh, this is basically like a, a negate that would be amazing. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce its name. Like the Tri Brigade uh, Mercurier? I, I'm, I can't even say it. But you know, like the bird little hand trap one. Like if we could have something like that too, like maybe you can make that a mass hero as well. Or I think maybe a Destiny hero would probably fit that one more. But, uh, or another vision hero possibly, but I th they've already done all the vision heroes, so we don't really need any more uh, main deck vision heroes, because the rest of them, let's be honest, they they suck. <laughs> like, the only good ones is Vion, Increase, Ferris. That's it. Maybe Gravito. Other than that, the rest of them suck. So, uh, if we could have one like that, uh, it would probably have to have, you know, something like, you know, obviously if you control a hero fusion monster and your opponent activates a spell trap monster effect you can pitch this card from your hand to the grave and negate and destroy that card like just something like that too like it doesn't even have to be like the craziest like i know we're gonna have protection of the elements but that's only gonna stop a spell or trap we still have hand trap monster effects to worry about and monsters in the grave as well like if we don't have dark law and then we still have all those monsters in the graveyard to worry about and Plasma can, Plasma can only negate so much. I mean, he can only negate on the field, but he's not going to stop hand traps. He's not going to stop grave effects. So if we could have an effect like that, uh, that would be honestly quite amazing. But that's pretty much all I have, guys. Um, it's just, we need those masked heroes. Uh, I know we got protection of the elements, uh, but we just, honestly, all it comes down to is we need negate. Uh, possibly elemental heroes maybe might need like a fusion spell even though it's pretty much polymerization 
because we have a fusion destiny there's even vision fusion even though that card is absolute garbage garbage like that card sucks like not even the vision heroes can search it like none of the vision heroes can even search their own cards like they can't search for vision fusion they can't search for like the other i think there's like two other traps like uh i can't even name them but they can't even they can't even search any of their cards like vion only searches polymerization like it's so funny like they can't even search for any of their craft which is hilarious but like i know a lot of people always talk about like the elemental hero fusion but honestly like at this point we would have just too many broken cards i mean think about it you just start off with like elemental hero fusion do a crazy ton of plays and then at the end of your near the end of your turn you just slap a fusion destiny on the field too broken so i don't think elements of heroes will probably ever get a fusion like that unfortunately i mean because we have traps like favor contact which is amazing i think their version of that to us was instant contact so i'm pretty much grateful for the instant contact there but i feel like we also need another link monster maybe not a link one um, even though that would be great for us in case our normal summon got negated. Uh, let's just be honest. Like, Link 1s, I will always say, Link 1s are always so broken. Like, they always do, they just let you just go off way too much. Think about it, it's just like, uh, oh, normal mist, Link, into the Link 1, effect a mist to search. And then, like, like, what if our Link 1 was, like, uh, like the sound great one? Oh, search... Search for a skyscraper field spell. <laughs> like, <laughs> then you search for your skyscraper three. But yeah, I know we're also gonna get the new flame wingman card. It'd be awesome if we just get all revamped versions of all those old elements of heroes. Like, what if they did like Thunder Giant next? And like, just you know, cards like that would be amazing. But uh, and I think we need more Neo support still. Not maybe Neos himself, but the Spatians, please. Like, I'll say it again. I've said it before in a past video. Engage, in Engage Neospace is an amazing card. Why on earth did you have to lock us into only fusions? We literally have a Link monster that lets us search for Spatians, which is the Infernal Divisor. Like, he can literally search for our Spatians. Like, we need to search our Spatians in more ways than just that like engage neospace would be phenomenal if it just said oh you're locked from the extra deck except hero monsters i'm i'm sure no, completely fine with it or maybe it just said like the rest of the turn it's just like like what if you could just do all your links then then play engage neospace and then go into it but that's a whole another debate but I, I feel like that card just missed the ball completely because I would have loved for it to not lock us like that because we already have we already get so many restrictions anyway but I'm gonna qu quit ranting because I'm gonna be doing it then this will turn into like a 20 minute video but anyway guys this is gonna be your boy Trinity Wolf signing out please 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 let me know down in the comments what cards you think we might need for heroes uh, if you like some of the ones I brought up like the masked heroes, some protection stuff, and extra fusions. Uh, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, on quick update, um, the playmat for the Trinity Wolf playmat has an update. Uh, it will be here probably next week. I just, I guess I forgot a step in ordering them. Uh, I wish the communication was a little bit better because it's just been like, I thought I did it and then. I emailed them like hey it's almost been a whole month like where like what's going on and then I was like oh well blah, 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 blah. and I was like then why didn't I get an email saying oh hey could you finish this for us so uh, that's gonna be coming within like a couple of days so I'm glad that's coming in I can finally show it to you guys and then I can heavily produce them depending on you know the popularity it might get but uh, so yeah, that's coming up. Yu-Gi-Oh! Day is going to be filmed tomorrow. Uh, either that or live stream, but I know I know you guys want to see, you know, the best tackle at Cash Tira format. And uh, I'm literally working on the lab right now on what to play. But anyway, guys, 
hit the thumbs up button for me, subscribe today if you're new, and I will see you guys 